Welcome to Little John Sean's. Today, we're going to learn how to crochet this D cup holder. If you like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright, quick tip, if you find this video moves too fast, look down in the right hand corner and click the little gear button to slow down the video to your speed. Today, we're going to be using a 4mm crochet hook and I'm using some Caron Simply Soft in the color, what color is this? It's called Mint Blue. We're going to begin by making a slip knot. And we're going to chain 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can pause the video here and I'll meet you at the completion of your 16 stitches. We've completed our 16 stitches and we're going to place a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, second chain from the hook and place a single crochet. And we're going to continue placing single crochets all the way down the chain. Alright, you can pause the video here, continue placing single crochets all the way down the chain, but stop at the very last chain and we'll work that stitch together. Okay, we've made it to the very last chain in this uh, part right here and we're going to place three single crochets into the very last chain. One, two, and three and we're going to mark the single um, the middle stitch that will be the second um, crochet in the three so find the middle stitch and we're going to place a marker in it we're placing a marker here because every time we come back around to this stitch for each row we're going to place three um, stitches into this center part Now we're going to be working on the underneath of the chain. We're going to place single crochets all the way back down to the very end of this row. So single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Okay, continue placing single crochets all the way down to the end of your row. You should have a total of 14 crochets on the opposite side. Remember, that's not including the three right here. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the end of this row. We've made it to the very end of this row and you should have a total of 31 stitches. All right, now we're going to start the part we're going to now we're going to start the part where we're going to begin our repeat. So pay attention closely. We're going to chain one. This does not count as a double crochet. Turn your work. I mean not a double crochet, it doesn't count as a stitch. And we're going to place one half double crochet into the very same space. Half double crochet and half double crochet into the next. We're going to continue placing half double crochets all the way until you make it to your uh, stitch marker. So pause your video here and continue placing one half double crochet in each stitch until you make it to the center um, stitch marker. I'll meet you there. Alright, we made it back to the center stitch marker. We're going to remove this and we're going to place three half double crochets into that center stitch. One, two, and three. And once again, we're going to mark that center stitch, the second half double crochet. And we're going to put a marker in this place. Remember, we'll always put a marker in that center stitch so we know where the top of our um, work is. Now continue placing half double crochets in each stitch alongside the other side of your cup. Half double crochet into the next. and half double crochet into the next. 
Okay, continue working half double crochets all the way down and I'll meet you at the end of this row. You can pause your video here. Okay, we made it to the end of the row, but I want to work the last stitch with you together because this last stitch is always hard to see, so I don't want you to miss it. So make sure you put every stitch in each of your um, stitches. So we'll put that last half double crochet in. Okay, we're going to repeat this a sequence, this sequence exactly 12 more times by um, chaining two and placing one half double crochet in each stitch into your um, stitch marker and placing three half double crochet in a stitch marker and half double crocheting back down the side. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of your 12. All right, we've made it to the very last stitch also. Don't forget to do that very last stitch. It's very easy to skip over. So half double crochet into there. All right, that's a completion of our 12 additional half double crochet rows. But that'll be a total of 13 half double crochet rows. And you'll have your one row of single crochet in the middle of your cup. So go ahead and make two of these and I'll meet you at the bottom part of our top. Okay, now we're gonna start the bottom portion of your top. When I'm doing this, I'm gonna be switching colors from uh, this color to this color. I'm sorry, I don't know all the names to the colors. Oh, actually I do, there's a little tag left on this one. This one is soft green. And also I'm using this color. These are all Kieran Simply Softs. I'll try to look up exactly what color I used and I'll leave it down in the description box below. But we're going to begin with the uh, blue color. Start by making a slip knot. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to slip stitch into the very first chain to make a ring. Now chain two. One, two. Your chain two does not count as a stitch. We're going to place four double crochets into the ring. One, two, three, and four. Now chain two. One, two. Place four more double crochets back into the ring. One, two, three, and four. That is your first row. Chain two. One, two. Turn your work. Remember this chain two does not count as a stitch. Place a double crochet in each stitch until you make it to the chain two space. So we'll do that together. Let's place a double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna place three double crochet into the chain two space here. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. Place three more double crochet right back into the chain two space. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna um, match the other side. We're gonna place one double crochet in each one of the stitches across. It'll be a total of four. One, two, three, and four and this is the sequence we're going to keep repeating i'll show you one more time 
one, two, turn your work. Chain two does not count as a double crochet. We're going to place one double crochet in each stitch until you make it to the chain two space. So let's do that together. I'm not going to be counting. We're just going to continue to place one um, double crochet in each one of your stitches. Continue working your double crochets until you make it to the chain two space. Okay, we've made it to the chain two space and just like the previous row, we're going to place three double crochets into this chain two space. So let's do that, oh, excuse me, tongue tied. So let's do that together. One, two, and three. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. Place three more double crochets back into the chain two space. One, two, and three. And continue just like the other side, placing one double crochet in each stitch, and we'll change colors at the end. So let's work that together. Continue placing your double crochets in each stitch until you make it to the very last um, stitch. And we're only going to work halfway through that double crochet so we can change colors. All right, we made it back to the very last stitch. So we're going to start our um, double crochet. And we're just going to work half of it. And we're going to change colors. Just so you know, for this pattern, we're going to keep repeating this sequence, but we're going to change colors every three rows. All right. And I'm going to switch over into my green color, wrap my yarn over the hook, and pull through those last two. And I officially change colors on my hook. I like to pull my yarn through just to make sure it's double um, secure. and chain two. Alright, we're going to continue this same exact sequence by placing one double crochet in each stitch all the way into the chain two space. In a chain two space, you're going to place three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and once again, working all the way down, placing one double crochet in each stitch until you make it to the end. We're going to do that for an additional 15 more rows. Remember, you can change colors um, every third um, row. All right, I'll meet you at the completion. Okay, we've just completed our additional 18 rows. Sorry for the uh, miscommunication on rows. I work on the pattern as I go. I never rewrite it beforehand. I just usually wing it as I create. So, okay, we just completed our rows. So. For a grand total of 21 double crochet rows. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lay our work down flat. Do not cut your end. And we're going to place our cups next. The cups will fit exactly on each half of your um, bottom of the V part of your um, halter top. So the first cup will go here. And the next cup will go right here. And in order to connect these, we are just going to um, single crochet the top and the bottom parts together. So I'm going to zoom in on our work. Hold on, let me pause here and now adjust our work. Okay, this is a better camera angle and I'm able to put my light on my uh, camera. So our yarn is still attached to the skein and we're going to single crochet uh, the top and the bottom together. In order, to, in order to do that, you're going to start at the very corner of your cup. And we're going to just slip this to join for the very first one. There we go. And we're going to evenly space uh, single crochets all the way across. 
There's no specific number, but just try to evenly space all your single crochets together. So single crochet through the front and the back. Single crochet through the front and the back. Front and the back. Continue placing single crochets evenly all the way until you make it to the very uh, center part of your V. You can pause the video here, there, and I'll meet you. Okay, we've attached our first cup, and this is what the front looks like. And now we're going to work on our second cup. And we're at the halfway point, and we're just going to continue doing exactly what we did with the other side. And we're just going to uh, um, slip stitch, not slip stitch, but single crochet to join this other stitch. So go back in. And in the bottom of your cup, we're going to single crochet. It's hard to work with uh, Care On Simply Soft. The yarn always wants to split. and continue evenly spacing your single crochets all the way across the top and bottom of your holder top. Hmm, I'm having trouble. My yarn keeps splitting. There we go. Single crochet. Single crochet. Like I said, continue evenly, let me zoom back out, placing single crochet, connecting the um, bottom and the top together all the way across. It should match almost perfectly. All right, I'll meet you at the completion of this um, seam. All right, we made it back to the uh, end of the second cup, and you can just fasten off your work. Let me zoom out and this is the inside and here's what we got so far and this is the outside and now um, we are going to work on the straps okay now we're going to put the straps on to the very top of your holder top you remember the part where we had uh, three half double crochets in the very top of your cup we're going to work into that center spot I am going to teach you the lazy man's crochet uh, um, simple uh, thick straps. Nobody wants to spend a long time making um, double crochet straps, but these ones are very quick. So I'll show you my little trick. You take your um, yarn, fold it over about five inches like so. Oh, and also I switched over to a five millimeter crochet hook for this. Insert your hook into the top of your uh, middle half double crochet. Pull the loop through and with your two ends including your small tail end and your working yarn, chain one. Now we're going to take this tail end, we're not going to be using this anymore, push that off the side. Now just with your working yarn, chain one more stitch. But with this stitch we're going to pull the loop long, like so. Pull it as long as you can. This long loop will create three strands of yarn that we'll be working with. And three strands of yarn, um, more sweat yarn equals bulky, chunky yarn. And we're going to insert our hook into that second chain two stitch right here. Let me zoom in on the camera. This chain two stitch. So insert your hook into it. And we're going to begin chaining with these three strands of yarn. The very first stitch is a little bit tough to work through. There we go. I worked through it. <laughs> All right, continue to chain. We're going to do 30 chains. Oh, losing my yarn. Oh, one extra quick tip. When you run out of your loop, like I am here, you put your fingers into the loop and pick up your working yarn like so and pull the chain 
as long as you can. And you're back to working with three strands of yarn. So like I said, I'll meet you at the completion of your chain 30. Okay, we completed those um, 30 stitches. And look how nice and uh, plush this strap is. It's not going to hurt your neck when you wear it. But instead of continuing to crocheting such a thick strap, we're just now going to um, crochet a regular single chain. So remember the uh, three strands we had here? That loop we're going to drop and we're not going to work with it anymore. We can um, cut that waist yarn later. And we're just going to do a single uh, chain stitch like so. See, it just tapers off very nicely. We're going to continue making chain stitches for um, another 50. And I'll meet you at the completion of your 50th chain stitch. Okay, we can um, finish our additional 50 chain stitches for our strap. And our strap is all done. And now we just have to do one last strap for your um, midsection, the torso. So once again, you can take your uh, five millimeter crochet hook. We're gonna create a slip stitch. And we're gonna begin our chains. We're gonna chain 200. I won't make you watch me chain all 200 stitches, so pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the completion of your 200 Okay, stitch. we completed our chain at 200, and what we're going to do with that, we're going to take a needle, thread the end of your chain through the needle, and we're going to weave it in and out through the midsection of your um, holder top, where the cup meets the bottom. So just, I'm going through the back. Weaving up and down, in and out of the work. This way I'm working the strand all the way across through the center of the um, holder top. Down and up, down and up. All right, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you don't need to see me do the whole thing. So continue weaving your um, chain in and out all the way to the other side of your um, holder top. Okay, this is the very last part of our top, and we're just going to work by seaming the two cups together. Not the whole part, just enough to cover up some of the cleavage. So I already put a stitch marker in here. I want you to count up eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's how far we'll be seaming together. So I want you to take a piece of yarn and we're going to insert our hook into the very first stitch of one cup and into the very um, bottom stitch of the next cup. Okay. And pull through. I do a little chain to make sure they're connected. There we go. So that's stitch number one. Go to number two and slip stitch three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. And now our top is closed, and we are just going to place a slip stitch to join, and we are going to uh, cut our work. And you are all done. And I'll show you what it looks like completely finished. Do you want to see the matching skirt pattern to this top? Well, don't forget to click the subscribe button and a notification bell so you're always up to date.